guys, welcome back. If you saw my last video, you would have seen this wig before. I was super inspired to create a totally different vibe after receiving it, so here it is. I'm starting off with a base primer from Moonshot to create a nice barrier between the foundation and my skin. This is very needed for me now that the weather is so hot. I want to achieve a big contrast between the pitch black hair and the vibrant red, so I went with the lightest foundation I own, and this is from VDL in the lightest color. In order to achieve the most even base, I'm blending the product out with a misted beauty blender. To complete the porcelain skin, I'm covering up any dark circles and blemishes with the Clio Full Cover Concealer. I have actually not been able to find a concealer that is light enough to be lighter than my foundation color because yes, it's that white. <laughs> um, but this is the closest that I have and the key is to just blend out really really good and you will not be able to see that it's actually not lighter. I'm using Too Cool For School setting powder in translucent color to set my base so I won't experience any creasing, since creasing kind of defeats the purpose of the porcelain skin. Because of the light base, we are unable to use my regular shading powder since they're a little too dark. I'm therefore using the Colorgram shader because one of the shades in this pack is super light. I'm lightly brushing the color on my cheekbones, jawline and the sides of my nose to contour my face. When it comes to nose shading, the thing that I actually really like to do is to shade right underneath the inner corners of your eyebrows. This will create a way thinner looking nose, because as soon as you actually bring the shader down to the nose tip, it can easily look wrong and like you have actually a bigger nose. Chung Semur has, in my opinion, some really really great eyebrow pencils. This one is pitch black, like my wig as you can see, so I'm being careful not to press too hard when applying, because that'll make a really unnatural look. I'm starting on the bottom line to create a straight line, and then I'm building up the color until I finished with the spoolie blush to blend out towards the center of my face. This is to achieve the most natural looking eyebrows, because if you look closely when you don't wear any makeup, your eyebrows are actually placed further apart towards the center of your face than they are towards the end, so that's why we're creating a lighter color there. Moving on to the eyes, I want a clear color block with only reds, so my base is just going to be a light beige color. This red is super pigmented, so I'm being super careful. I'm first applying the color in a little clump and then I'm taking my blending brush to blend out the color carefully. Be super careful guys, it's really hard to fix mistakes with a red color that, that's this vibrant. The key with very colorful buildup is that you have to apply a little at a time, blend out and apply more. And you have to repeat this process until you actually like the color that is showing up on your eyes. My eyeliner is very simple. I just decided to elongate my lash line with a thin stroke. I only apply eyeliner on the outer corner to pull out the eye and not to make it seem rounder, but just longer. A little tip if you can't get the end of the eyeliner really, really sharp. Use your nail to smudge out the end. Just place your nail on the end of the eyeliner and just drag it out like you're painting a painting. This really creates a beautiful end of the tip. On to mascara, again I'm focusing on the outer corners to create a longer eye. I'm also being careful not to overdo it since I want long but thin lashes. A red blush can often look pink because we have to blend out blush a lot to make it look natural. Therefore I decided to go with an orange color to keep in the warm reddish tones. Of course this look is incomplete without any red lipstick. This color is from Clio and it is the most vibrant red that I own. It's super pretty. I applied it in an even layer and with no gradation to complete my full red lips. No look is complete without highlighter. To stay in the warm tones, I'm going for my favorite Clio Prism Air highlighter in gold. And then there you have it. If you like this look, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos like this one. See you guys next time. Bye!